When did the Christian church start? Now Napoleon, that's a very good question. And I will try to answer it for you in a simple way. 30 days after Jesus had risen from the dead and he was with his disciples and for the last time before ascending into heaven. That's right, ascending into heaven. He told them to go to Jerusalem and to wait for the Comforter to arrive. And before you ask what the Comforter is, well, you, Napoleon, you are a Comforter. When I come home from work, what do you do? That's right, you run to me and you lick me. <laughs> yes, okay, okay, okay. And that's a comfort to me. And when I go to bed, you snuggle up to me. And that's a comfort as well. So, therefore, a comforter is someone that is always there for you. And in this case, we're talking about the comforter being the Holy Spirit. The disciples and some others of Jesus' followers were gathered in the upper room. Do you remember that? We talked about that at Easter, didn't we? They gathered in the upper room to have fellowship and to pray. Now, what do you have to represent the upper room? Your bowl? Doesn't quite look like an upper room, but we'll use that because that's going to be for the gathering together. Now, when you see the colour yellow, what do you think of? What are you looking at? The sun. Oh, yellow reminds you of the sun. Okay, that's good. So let's put that in the, the upper room. And when you see the colour red, what do you think of? The stoplight on the traffic lights. That's a very good answer. Now we put that with the yellow. So we have them both in the upper room. Now let's see. Shall we use the lid of your bowl to be the roof of the upper room? So we're going to put that on there. Now, I want you to use your imagination. And I want you to think that if you mix them up, that's right, the yellow and the red, Mix them up. What do you see? And don't, don't say a mess. Oh, Napoleon! He just shouted in my ear, fire! Didn't you? You could have said fire, he didn't have to shout it. Come on. So, did you imagine that? So let's see what your imagination has conjured up, shall we? Wow, look at that. And that's all, There's nothing else in the bowl. Now the disciples and the followers who were in the upper room saw what looked like tongues of fire hovering over everyone's heads. And each one of them was now praising God in a different language. Yes. Now this was the Holy Spirit or Comforter that Jesus had told them to expect. 
As this was the week of the festival of Pentecost, Jews from all over the Roman Empire had come to Jerusalem and they spoke in many languages. Now, now not one person speaking in many languages. No, there's just one person spoke one language and another person spoke another language. Understand? And they're told, they're told that in fact there's about 15 different languages being spoken. 15. Peter started to talk to the crowds and they were amazed because they all heard Peter had talked to them in their language and they heard what he had to say about the good news of Jesus and what he had done and will continue to do. And this they heard in their own language. And that day, over 3,000 people, big number, isn't it? Were decided they were going to turn from their wrongdoings and they turned to God and they were baptised in the river. From that day, the Christian church was born. At Pentecost. Did that answer your question? When the church was born? So we can go and now have some dinner. Say goodbye to everyone. Goodbye.